Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali and today is a Sunday and it's just gonna be a good one. I have a good feeling. I did my makeup, did my hair, got dressed in the cutest freaking outfit. Like I have not felt this good in so long. In one of my recent vlogs, I told you guys that I recently was signed with a manager and she got me on a couple of like PR lists and I don't even know what I got on. So I'm just like receiving random packages and I got an airy package and I was shook because I love Aerie. Aerie is like so good, especially with their one-piece swimsuits. I got two this summer and I've been wearing them nonstop. Um, but this outfit is a two-piece. Let me show you guys. This is what the two-piece set looks like and I love it. I'm wearing it with my new aloe hat that I got when I was in California. It's actually a trucker style, which is perfect because... I have like two other trucker styles. The one I literally wore every single day this summer, um, but I just had to add to the collection. And it's very bold of me because I feel like I've been wearing a lot of white lately and I just get stains on it every single damn time I go out to dinner. So I don't know why I do that. And I'm gonna have a makeup stain on the inside, but it's inside, so it shouldn't matter. I'm also wearing my Nike shadows and it's just a whole fit. I'll link it down below. My sweet boyfriend bought me, what's this called? Sirius XM. <laughs> that sounds like my radio. <laughs> I love Soul Cycle Radio when we go in his car. And so he like, just was like, I'm just gonna buy it for you. Um, and so now I have Soul Cycle. I have like so many more country radio stations and like the pop 2K and like 90s stations are so good. I also get Kiss FM, so I got all the good stuff. Um, we are gonna try out a new place called Altus Cafe. We actually went to a new place last night. I didn't vlog, I didn't do like a full weekend vlog just because I wasn't really feeling it. I just had so much content to edit, so didn't want to overwhelm myself. We went to Salty So last night, which was pretty good. We gave it, what, what rating did we give it? 7.2. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know if we were being harsh or something, but yeah, I mean, it was pretty good. And I heard their happy hour is really good. We'll probably be back. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna go to Alta's Cafe, which is like right on the water. Very like breakfast, avocado toast kind of thing. Um, it's been on my bookmarks for a Not while now. Nice. is pretty good and the views are so nice and honestly we're just like in a wind tunnel right now so it just feels really good we don't have many plans other than going to like a dog festival today we're gonna go to Corcella and we're gonna take Sophie she she doesn't usually play around with other dogs so it's gonna be interesting but I think there's like a lot of other local vendors so we can get some free stuff and see other cute dogs so it should be fun We drove around Westlake Hills. We just love to see the houses there and just like motivates us. They're all so pretty. I feel like every time I have a new favorite, um, but then we came home and like chilled. I edited some TikToks and now we're taking Sophie to her little dog party. It's gonna be so fun. I'm very interested to see how she's gonna be around so many of these dogs because I feel like when she was a baby, like a puppy, we didn't really bring her around a lot of other dogs because we were in Georgia and it's not as dog friendly as Austin. And she was our family dog, if you guys didn't know. But anyway, so we're trying to like, you know, get her used to like being around other dogs and we take her a lot more places here. And I was telling Ryan yesterday, actually, I was like, I don't think we ever like had someone tell us like, oh, she can't come in. Like even in Dallas, we went into like really bougie stores and they allowed her to come in, which was really nice. But anyways, we're gonna head out the door and hopefully they have like some snacks, maybe some drinks, cause we're getting a little hungry.
We just got done at Coachella, and Sophie got a little influencer box. How cute with all this stuff in it. Treats. I think this is perfume. Some, some perfume. I just sprayed it on her. Is this shampoo? This one? Yeah. Some shampoo, rosemary extract shampoo. Natural treats. Some bougie dinners. And Sophie. CBD oil for dogs. <laughs> You are so cool, Sophie, you oh, don't even awesome. know it. We used her pink leash because she doesn't like her other leash. There were so many corgis. It looked like there were just like clones running around. It was insane. There was a corgi with like white eyes, which actually kind of scared me. <laughs> but overall, it was kind of fun just to like see all the dogs playing and stuff. And Sophie didn't really play with other dogs. She doesn't really do that, unfortunately, but um, she did play with other people. She loves humans, but like I said, when she was like little in Georgia, like we didn't really take her to, you know, play with other dogs. So I just don't think that she's like used to it, you know? Now we're gonna go home. I think Sophie needs a bath. We can use that rosemary shampoo. I ruined my aloe hat literally the first day I wore it. I got like a stain on it and my stupid ass put like resolve on it. I don't even know, I just don't ask, but it like stained it, like the whole spray stained it a little bit. And like my makeup got on it, of course, like, I don't know, why did I choose a white hat? Because I'm stupid, okay? Ryan and I ordered pizza because tonight is a big night for us. We're gonna finish Outer Banks and he actually didn't watch the first season. So I just kind of told him like everything that happened and I think he watched like a recap, but we're both so into season two. Like I feel like every second is just like action, action, action. So I'm excited to finish that off. I don't even know what episode we're on, like maybe eight or nine and I don't know how many there are left. We're gonna get bougie pizza from Via 313. It is so good. I get this prosciutto fig pizza kind of thing oh my god i just love like a sweet and savory kind of meal <laughs> um but i shared this on my stories just now and i and i figured i'd share again with you guys um because i know i put it in one of my shopping videos but basically i wanted to share this sweatshirt again i know there's like a sunspot on me let me move it over um i am just like even more obsessed with this sweatshirt than i was when i first got it it's just like so comfy cozy. Like look at these like little bat wing sleeves. I got an XL, which honestly, I feel like an XL should be like a little bit bigger, but I think it's just more of like a cropped style. So maybe that's why. As you can tell, I got it in a cream color and I feel like I just like always wear creams or whites or neutrals. And I really haven't been wearing black as much lately. And I still have not mastered the art of not staining your freaking clothes with food so i know there's like some stains i don't even know where they are but i know there are somewhere on here and then you know my hat is white and i got that ruined i'm like i don't even know why i do this to myself why do i wear whites if i can't treat them well but i'll link this down below it's literally only 40 dollars, and i feel like for a good quality sweatshirt or crew neck like that's a really good price plus i found it on amazon which makes everything easier because you know prime i'm really excited because i actually just signed a partnership with a company that does like prints posters um, and they sell frames too. I've been putting off decorating this place for so long now Like I feel like I should have already had an apartment tour out for you guys Well, honestly, I'm waiting on my couch still so that's gonna come I think the dates are like August 30th to September 15th So I hope it comes before then because my mom is coming down here for the first time ever None of my family has ever visited me here in Austin because they were gonna try to come during like spring 2020 But you know shit happened so they have not yet to come visit me, but she's gonna plan to come then. And I'm hoping that freaking couch gets here because it's a sleeper sofa. Um, so like a pullout couch has a whole queen size mattress in it, but it's going in the guest room. Then once it's all like in there, I feel like I can figure out the rest of the room. I think I'm, the living room is pretty much the same as the last place. Actually sit down and kind of create a mood board and like get all my visions together before I start hanging things up because you guys know, or if you didn't know, we painted this a whole apartment white and and it was not cheap. So I don't want to like, you know, dig holes in the white paint in case I don't love what I'm doing, you know? Like I want everything to be permanent once I hang things up. Um, but I don't know if you guys saw it in a vlog of mine like kind of a long time ago, but I did get a new dresser. I want to get some cord covers for that because I just hate the way it looks. But this is our dresser and I also want to like 
ask Ryan to like move his boy stuff <laughs> because I want to put like prints maybe or something cute. Just little trinkets that make it look aesthetic. But yeah, this is the dresser. I got it from Wayfair. I got it from Wayfair and I really like it so far. Also, these are the prints from our old bedroom. They used to be right up above our headboard, but I just don't know if that's the vibe anymore or if I want to switch out the prints or if I want to get like one large one. So TBD. So we got Via 313 and I got the... I don't even know what I got, honestly. It's called something like the Detroit something. Mm-hmm. Like the Cadillac. Happy Monday. I got a great start to the morning. I went to the gym and I bathed Sophie, did the dishes, as you can hear. So sorry if it's a little bit loud. Um, but I don't know if you can tell, but my camera is freaking out. And I actually went to Precision Camera um, this weekend because I wanted to see if I should get like a new body and they said to wait till the 16th because it's gonna go on sale like the one they told me to get so i'll definitely be updating you guys on which body i get um because i'm really excited about it but it's just so annoying because like i feel like this camera is perfect for me it's just like being all weird right now and i obviously use this for three or all of my jobs for my landmark job the student housing content creation my youtube stuff instagram and my photography and videography freelancing job so this is literally like everything i need and more for my job so i can't have it be all weird anyways i'm going to make a green juice or any kind of juice i just have so many fruits that i bought from amazon prime or amazon fresh last week that i just don't want to go bad and i did some juicing last week and it was so good if you guys know what um dang what is it called oh first watch <laughs> first watch has a drink called the kale tonic and i made a similar one and it was so good i don't have all of the ingredients for that one so i think i'm just gonna do like a cucumber lemon ginger kind of deal maybe throw in a grapefruit i don't know i'm gonna like look up some pinterest recipes and see what i can find juicing is a lot of work because i do it with my vitamix i don't know where the heck my juicer went um i think i gave it away to goodwill when i moved here i don't know why but um i also need to buy like some cheesecloth like i think that's going to be more helpful to like drain all of the pulp out and like drain the juice out of the pulp i guess um so that is what we're gonna be doing this morning i'm gonna like peel the cucumbers and get them all prepped and ready i prepped cucumber ginger oranges and a half of a lemon and so hopefully this turns out good i never know what it's gonna taste like but let's see Last time I had to work with this tiny strainer, so I basically held it over a cup, poured that in, and had to push it down with a spoon, but you could only pour a certain amount at a time, so it was seriously such a long process. So I went on Amazon and bought this big strainer. It came with this cup, and you just put it in, and there's like a cleaning brush that comes with it, a like pusher downer stamper thing, and not sure, oh, I think this is a handle for this thing. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I bought that. But then I was looking up TikToks on how to juice and everyone was using kind of like a cheesecloth to just like really strain like the juice out of the pulp. So I feel like that could be a better option just to really get all the juice out. But I'm gonna try this and then if this doesn't really work, then next time I juice, I'm gonna buy one of those cheesecloth things. This is gonna be so much easier. I already love it. <laughs> I just published the last of my California vlog and I'm kind of sad because I just love editing travel vlogs. It's so much fun because I get to do like the B-roll and like just see different scenery. I feel like all my Austin vlogs are kind of similar, at least to me. If you guys haven't watched those already, definitely go do so because they're honestly some of my favorites, especially because, you know, my family's in them and it just makes them more special. Ryan and I went to HEB when I clocked out of work and I got some dinner for myself. I got some sushi. Today's actually the bachelor finale. So a couple of my friends are coming over right now. I said 6.30 and 6.28. This is just like salmon a whole bunch of salmon we got some hand rolls we got some what's what's the difference between this one and this one 
pan roll and then what do I call this one? Like a sushi roll and then nigiri. So I'm excited to eat this. Got a LaCroix. Well, actually now we buy the knockoff like HEV ones, but I think they're the same. I feel like I just have so much random things I wanna do. Like I want to create like, like to know it posts. And if you guys are already following me on like to know it, definitely go follow me because I'm posting so much more. Um, basically it's an app where you can go see like all of your favorite creators, bloggers, Instagrammers, um, outfits, like it, the exact links to everything. I've posted like so much already. So if you're curious about any of my outfits, it's most likely on there. But I wanted to create like some posts that are kind of just like a photoshopped like background and then like some of my things that I want and, and just like my favorite beauty products and all that stuff. So I've been wanting to do that, but I just haven't had the time. Sometimes I really underestimate how long things can take, especially with YouTube, like editing. I always time block in my calendar, like maybe two hours max. And the last LA vlog that I edited literally took me eight hours to edit and like publish everything. And I think I probably edited it a little bit before that, but honestly it takes forever, but I don't really care because it's so therapeutic for me and I really enjoy it. And that one was a longer vlog and like, you know, I kind of wanted to make it more cinematic. So it did take a little bit longer than usual. And now I try to make all my thumbnails like look the same. So I have like this whole process I go through with my iPad, but I'm going to enjoy the night with my friends, watch The Bachelor. I also got wine for tonight. I rarely drink wine, but this is what I got. I like sweet stuff, anything that tastes like juice, honestly. So I'm hoping this is good. This is Prima Mazo Pink Moscato. I'm a sucker for Pink Moscato. That's literally like the first wine I really ever drank in college. And then I switched to just Moscato and I was like, wow, I'm so... I'm so mature, but now I literally can't drink anything else. Like red wine just doesn't taste good to me. I don't know why, but I feel like my my taste buds just aren't there yet. I honestly don't know what's in this vlog, but what I do know is that it's been a couple days and a pimple came about and it was like one of those under the skin pimples that just like took a couple days to, you know, rise to the surface and now I just have a big scar on my face. So, but today is a really, really, really exciting day because I got a new camera and I'm going to pick it up. So basically this camera, the Sony a7 III is what I've been vlogging on for the past, I want to say a year. I used to vlog with the Sony a5100 and I made a whole video on it. And it's truly an amazing beginner camera because it's so portable. It's a lot smaller than this. It's definitely more affordable and you can use different lenses. So it's not just like a point and shoot. You can actually like interchange the lenses. Well, it technically is a point and shoot. I don't know what determines a point and shoot. But anyway, so I started off with the Sony a5100, moved to the Sony a7 III, and now I'm going to go pick up my Sony a7S III. Basically this camera has a flip out screen, so it's great for like vloggers. It actually flips out to the side, which I'm so freaking excited about. I used to have a flip out screen on my Canon, but ever since I switched to Sony, I've been having to use this little guy. So basically you put this on your camera and it's a mirror so you can see like the screen reflecting. It's honestly really cheap. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it below if you guys don't have like a flip out screen. Um, but I feel like it's gonna be a game changer to have that. And I just needed a new body. I've been having this one for two years, which I feel like cameras should definitely last longer than that. But unfortunately this one took a fall and the shutter speed is so messed up. I do photo and video. So when I'm doing video especially, it's just so finicky with the lighting. So I thought it was time to just do a little bit of an upgrade. And some may say that this camera that I'm filming with right now is actually better than the one I'm getting um, because the megapixels are a little bit lower on the one I'm getting, but then the low light is really good for video. So it was really, really hard choosing another model to go to because I really didn't want to buy the same model. I feel like there's so many better models and like more upgraded models out there but i feel like this one that i'm filming with right now the sony a7 III, is just like a good hybrid like for photography and videography but i don't know i feel like i've definitely been vlogging a lot more and i think the flip out screen is going to be a game changer the video on this new camera is like insane yesterday i went to precision camera in north austin and i purchased the camera but they didn't have it in stock they have a south austin store and apparently the camera was like chilling there they had to get it like transferred up there i actually asked the people if i could just like pick it up in south austin that night but they were like oh it's on a truck getting transferred over here and that was a lie because i called them this morning i was like hey is the truck guy there yet and they were like what do you mean truck like we just send some guy to get it and i'm like 
what do you mean? Like, somebody told me about a truck. So anyways, I am now able to pick it up in South Austin. Wish I could have done it yesterday, but all good. Going to pick it up now on my lunch break. I have a call at one, so I have to be back soon. I'm really excited, but the one thing that's gonna be really annoying is just getting all my settings on this camera transferred over to the next camera. I wish they had some sort of like iCloud backup system that like could just like transfer it all. But basically on a Sony, you can customize pretty much every button and I've done that and I'm just gonna have to like do it on the next camera. So that's gonna be annoying, but Oh well, I'm getting a new camera, get hyped. I actually have a photo and video gig today, so I'll be able to use it. It is here. I got the good Sony a7S III. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you guys know technology is what excites me the most. So I think I'm gonna wait till I get home to unbox it all. I actually have to rush back to get on a call. A little update on this room, cause it's just kind of like our catch all for right now, but our couch is coming. This is exactly why I had to get a new camera. Did you see that? This little like thing with the lighting. I just can't deal with it. But the couch is being built right now, so I need to check in a couple of days if like that switches. So I wonder if it'll switch to like, you know, being in the warehouse and getting ready to ship out. But it says August 30th to September like 10th is our um, estimated date of arrival. <clears throat> I also just got some Desenio prints that I don't know where I'm gonna put in this room, but they're really cute, like muted kind of green. I really wanted to like tie in green in some way. I feel like for home decor, I like things to be more neutral because I never get sick and tired of it, but I did find like a muted green that I was like, okay, this isn't bad. So I'm gonna stop talking and finally unbox my new Sony a7S III. So let's do it. Some manuals, we got some chargers, and where is it? <laughs> All right, here she is. She's a beauty. She feels so brand new. Whenever I bought my first Canon DSLR, well actually my dad bought it for me because this was when I was like in middle school, but that was like a new camera. But ever since I started like buying my own camera equipment, I rarely buy new camera equipment. I actually bought a lens like about a year ago and I bought it used and then had to spend like a thousand dollars to repair or something that I didn't do. So now I'm a little like worried about that. So I just thought, especially for the body, I didn't want anything to be wrong with it. So I decided to get it brand new. So this is what it looks like and it has, wait for it guys. I flip that screen. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be game changing, like I said. I feel like it's a bit bulkier than my a7 III. So that's gonna be interesting, but also I feel like I just always get used to whatever I'm vlogging with. But I will say it's gonna be nice not having that little um, mirror contraption on top. So I can just vlog like this. This is so exciting. All right, we are filming on the new camera. I don't know if you can tell. Comment down below if you can like tell the difference in the quality. I still need to figure out the picture profile, which means like the coloring on the camera. I usually do like a muted kind of S-log thing, but I think it's more customized S-log. I'm not really too sure about it because a friend here that does photography, John Scotty, did it to my camera. I'm gonna still have to figure that out. But for now, we'll use this picture profile. I have the flip out screen right here. And I'm gonna try not to look at it too much, but it is nice to just know what like the lighting looks like, most importantly. I feel like there's so many clips of me talking and it's just like so whack, like it's too bright and I don't really know because I'm not like looking at the screens. So this is gonna be really helpful. So get ready for some freaking awesome video content. I know this vlog was a little all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so right now. It's so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.